I think it'd be fair to say that the Grimm since Volume 5 have been feeling kinda... Well, like fodder. Sure, they've never been that much of a challenge, but with the past couple volumes, their fights left me pretty... unsatisfied. But that all changed when we got Chapter 2 of Ruby Volume 8. This new Grimm that they introduced, The Hound, has sparked interest back in not just me, but in the whole fandom. And today, I really just want to talk about not only what this Grimm is, but what else it could be, along with what this could possibly mean for the Grimm of the future. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. But before that, real quick, I just want to say, if you guys like the video, you can like the video, subscribe if you want to see more, and comment down below. Tell me what your hopes are for this new Grimm. So like I said, the Grimm had been pretty lackluster. Don't get me wrong, since the beginning, the Grimm never showed that much of a threat. No one was worried that someone was going to get axed off by a Beowulf. But I think it started to become noticeable after Volume 4, because in that volume, we actually got introduced to some pretty formidable Grimm. The guy scrim in the first chapter, the Si Fei Long that Blake and Sun went up against, and of course the Nuckleby. These Grimm actually fought back against our heroes. Hell, a lot of us thought Ren and Nor were actually going to get killed in the final chapter. So with these more impressive Grimm showing up, we all really felt it when things became business as usual. Volume 5 did have that Queen Lancer fight, but after that, nothing. Volume 6 had that train fight with all those flying Grimm and the apathy, but then, nothing. I said nothing. That definitely doesn't count as a formidable Grimm. Volume 7, the Grimm were really just a joke, really feeling more like paper mache than actual threats. The dangerous threat levels were really just too few and far between for us to really be worried, and even with the dangerous Grimm that we got, no one really got hurt after fighting them, right? No lasting repercussions, so what do we actually have to worry about? With all this in mind, when I saw the Hound in the trailer, I thought, okay, it'll be an impressive looking Grimm, maybe we'll get a good fight scene out of it, and then that's it. I figured it'd take Oscar and I'd hope it would take him to see Salem, but there was a big part of me that actually figured that Yang's team would be able to take it down and then that'd be that. Ho <laughs> ho how wrong I was. When chapter 2 hit and I saw that ending, I freaked out, which was kind of embarrassing since I was with family at the time. But come on, Kruby had done it. They had created a Grimm that actually changed the game. So what does this Grimm do? It appears to be an excellent hunter, can easily find its prey and knows when the right time to strike is. It's able to switch from dog form to humanoid at will, towering over the other heroes. It also seems to have different Grimm abilities attached to it. Stretchy arms from the Nuklaviv, wings from, well, we don't know yet, but we did see those bad boys on Salem in the opening, so they could be hers. On top of that, it's a creature that's quick on its feet, actually able to come up with a plan mid-fight like using Oscar like a human meat shield, but the biggest thing that got everyone talking it can, well, it can talk. Not full sentences, of course, but English words are able to come out of its mouth. Well, one word, but still. This got me excited because like I said, this changes the game. This is unprecedented for us. It's also unprecedented for our heroes in the show, which means they don't know what to expect. They're going in blind fighting this thing. It's an abomination of nature they're going up against now, which is funny now that I think about it. The more human it is, the more wrong it just feels. But anyways, this change in the norm is going to force our heroes to have to really think and it's going to cause them problems and all of this is the elements needed for a good antagonist. Which will make defeating it, hopefully later rather than sooner, a hell of a lot more rewarding than the past Grimm and even the past humans. So I talked about what this change has done to the show and what it can bring to the show. So what else is there? Well there's also the possibility of getting more of these kind of Grimms in the show. To explain this, I want to talk about this small indie anime with a, a pretty niche following. What was it again? My Boku Academia? Something? My Hero Academia, or Boku no Hero Academia. I'm going to get into some spoilers about a uh, part of the show, so if you don't want to get spoiled, skip to here. So let's quickly talk about the Nomu. You all know it, the evil experiments that have multiple quirks and look like that. I got huge Nomu vibes from the Hound right after my first viewing and I honestly wouldn't be surprised if the writers got their inspiration from them, which I would be completely okay with. Like I said, the Nomu are capable of wielding multiple quirks or super abilities, similar to the Hound who also has multiple abilities. The Hound is also an experiment like the Nomu and most importantly, we've just started to see Nomu who can actually talk, something that hasn't been done in the anime before. For manga folks, yes, I know there are things happening in Revelations and all that stuff, but my point is still valid. Similar to the Hound, that talking Nomu was proof that they were evolving. And I believe that's the same for the Grimm. The Grimm are evolving. If Salem likes what she sees with this Hound Grimm, which she's already called a success, 
She'll create more and it will be smarter, maybe bigger, but definitely stronger than the one we see here. And I know some of you will think, oh yeah, she can create an army of these, but I honestly hope that's not the case. Yes, an army might seem intimidating, but think about it. If Salem makes an army, the evolved element won't feel that unique anymore. And you can't give a hundred of those things their own special look. And you can't make all of them a tough antagonist for the main characters to beat. What would end up happening is that they'll all end up looking very similar, and they'll just get taken down easily like the Grim we already have. I definitely think they should have Salem make more, but I think she should probably only make like a team of them. No more than 10. Each with their own special ability and look to make them unique. I think this way, we'll get the chance and the time to watch our heroes have to struggle to take these specific 10 or so out in order to advance. Now finally, I want to talk more about what this advanced Grim species could possibly be. But I think similar to the Nomu, the Hound is the result of human experimentation. I believe Salem has plucked a human, injected Grim goop into them, or magic them somehow. I don't know, but the result became the Hound that we know. If this is the case, then that makes not only the Hound and any future Grim like it more terrifying, but it also has that potential to make them more personal. What if, similar to how Venom can peel back its face so we can see Eddie Brock inside, Hound or some other future Grimms peels its face back and we see someone we know? If that's the case, that opens up the way for emotional gut-wrenching moments, as well as more upgrades for the Grimm. Think about it. What if the Hound can take its human memories, their fighting style, their, their fucking semblance? Imagine a Grimm with a soul with the ability to use an actual semblance. Maybe not with the Hound, but something down the line maybe. Now who could be the Hound? Well I have two ideas. I think it could either be Lionheart, maybe Salem didn't kill him. If that's the case, it'd really just make this whole man's life a tragedy. Like he'd really just be this pitiful character and we'd definitely feel something seeing his face pop out of that Hound. So it could either be him, or it could just be some unlucky guy. We wouldn't know who he is, it'd just be some guy in the wrong place at the wrong time. Hey, maybe it could be one of those huntsmen that Lionheart lied to and led to their death back in Season 5. So while we won't know this guy, we would know that Salem can experiment on humans and make them into Grimm, opening up the possibility for her to actually snatch up someone that we know. It could be John, which with his large aura potential wouldn't be that far-fetched, or Robin, or Crow, it could be a character like them and she could turn them into a Grimm that would be forced to attack their friends. So again, while this hound might come from a complete stranger, we'll know Salem can do this now and she can do it to any one of the main cast or a friend of the main cast in the future. I don't think it's Summer, I still think she's dead, but you know, anything's possible. So yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts of the Grimm. Kirby's really shaking it up this volume, just like I hoped, and I can't wait to see more. Hopefully we get to see more impressive things from the hound, and hopefully this won't be the end of the evolved Grimm species. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed, hope you liked it, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.